Hi all, uh, this is the ATS kit. Welcome to another video. Uh, uh, in this video, what we are trying to uh, review is an OS. It's as you can see on the screen, it's Fedora 28. It's uh, not the latest one. It's kind of an old, couple of years old. So why? Are, uh, so we have seen some games, uh, some hardwares, and right now it's uh, time to do some softwares. Okay, so uh, let's start off why uh, I took Linux. Okay, so I have been using Linux for past 10 years, but still I am not an expert, but uh, I know how to get it around uh, with it. So uh, let me talk about uh, how I got into Linux. Okay, so in order to do that, I need to show you uh, my first computer. Okay, so I have some pictures over here. So this is Fedora 28, as you can see, uh, it over here, and uh, these are the window uh, layout. Uh, it's beautifully placed. I can see a little bit big, and uh, it's little bit, a little bit smooth, and uh, it's kind of a pleasant looking icons are there. So let's uh, navigate to the picture part, and. Uh, so uh, these are just jpg images as you can see over here so uh, let's make it into thumbnail and here you can see some of the pictures some of my uh, my old and new hardware so uh, it's not a new hardware it's still old uh, so yeah so uh, this was my first uh, desktop okay it's made out from uh, literally uh, made out from leftovers of other PCs. So the motherboard was like, you know, uh, a guy has upgraded his PC, so they left the motherboard, so I took it in. And these, uh, all these three hardwares, uh, hard disks were having uh, bad sectors and they were replaced. I took that out. I took it into my PC. And this graphics card was, uh, in that time, it's kind of a new, okay, but still used. It's uh, used by, uh, used in my brother's PC. So when he upgraded his PC, he gave the graphics card to me. And the SMBC is also kind of, you know, already uh, a low cost, uh, cheap SMBS. Okay, so I was using Windows XP at that time, and uh, since these hard disks uh, you see on the screen were having bad sectors, so while we were uh, doing some low end gaming, so we were doing some uh, Word document, all of a sudden this bad sector, uh, this blue screen, the famous blue screen of Windows XP will come up and everything will get crashed and I need to reinstall the OS again. So at that point of time, uh, one of my friend gave me uh, Linux uh, OS which is uh, Ubuntu Ultimate Edition and it was like uh, at that time I could remember that Linux can be installed uh, in the form of a program. Uh, and it will appear in the in our control panel and we can we could really uninstall it okay so at that time it was happening like that so uh, when I tried it out it's like uh, uh, I really like the UI of uh, Ubuntu Ultimate Edition and we could uh, do some effects like when you minimize the window when you minimize the window it will like shatter away and there is a flaming effect when we minimize the window <laughs> all those things uh, can be done so uh, while I was in Linux and if I'm doing some work and all of a sudden this uh, any of the artists hits a bad sector or uh, the system just crashes and uh, when we reboot it uh, Linux will just work fine when it comes to XP it won't work fine so this was happening to me so at that time uh, I planned of uh, completely moving into Linux including the word uh, we have we had open office and uh, some of the word softwares in Linux so all the documents can be done in Linux and I thought of uh, using Windows as only for gaming purpose okay uh, so uh, that that was my start uh, and uh, during those days uh, I used to transfer many files from uh, USB to this hard di hard disk and it was uh, really uh, easy to get infected by uh, viruses. Uh, I'm not saying that Linux is 
not vulnerable but uh, during those days uh, most of the people were most of my friends were ha- using windows and uh, there were there were many windows viruses so all our system get affected at one point of time and uh, that's why we uh, that's why i moved on to linux so windows uh, viruses won't work in linux so i was kind of uh, on the safe side uh, and uh, I, uh, those days internet was uh, really costly over here and uh, i didn't had a broadband connection at that time so um didn't you know i don't have to worry about any of the viruses that are online um, that was on, that was on the internet because this machine never connected to the <laughs> internet at all okay uh, so that's how it goes so i just wanted to tell you how why i uh, i'm moved from you know i started uh, not moved from i started using linux and from this point of time whenever i got a personal laptop or a personal desktop i used to have dual boot i make sure that uh, it's dual booted on one uh, with windows and another with linux it can be uh, first at first i was uh, starting with ubuntu and later on i moved on to uh, fedora and then again to ubuntu so it's like uh, it's a linux it it should be a linux os uh, that dual booting system you get my point you got my point okay so no matter ubuntu or fedora it should be a linux that's what my point po- that's what i wanted and i always used to have a dual boot system so my current system is also dual dual booting and current right now i'm using fedora as you can see so i just wanted to you know uh, start uh, making some videos about os since i love linux so why i wanted to you know uh, do reviews about os is that you know uh, if you want to try out an os you need to download the image and then move on to live usb and then you need to live boot it so i am just trying to find a solution to avoid all those things you can just uh, go through my videos i will try to make more reviews about more ubuntu linux distros so uh so that you can get to know how the os looks like so uh i am not forcing you to change to linux or i am not forcing you to uh make your system a dual boot so i just want you guys to see how the linux looks and how it works and uh if you are you know uh, you really love it then just try a dual booting uh, system you have complete freedom uh, over the system you can change the system ui whenever you like uh, at one point of time i was using uh, ubuntu with a kde ui uh, and kde plasma ui so that's a tough stuff okay uh, so you will le- uh, learn uh, later on when i uh, do couple of Uh, linux distros most of the uis are uh, entirely different so ubuntu is having a different ui fedora is having a different ui then open source is again a different ui elegant uh, os is different ui ui elementary os is there peer os is peer linux is there so endless os is there there are so many distros are there okay so i'm planning to do each and every, every one but i'll uh, let's see how it goes so based on your uh, reviews and feedback i will uh, start doing the review of linux distros okay so this is the default image viewer of the fedora and as you can see the image details are displayed on the right pane and uh, we have the uh, what is called window header over here double click on that it will get maximized again double click it, it will uh, turn back into its old form and uh, we have the date uh, over on the top center section on the top right section you will see the volume control bar i have a mic uh, you know uh, mic volume what to say mic level control as well since i am using a, using a headset with mic and i am connected to wifi uh, this is a wifi adapter uh, it's a dealing wifi adapter external wifi adapter uh, i have not installed any wifi drivers adapter drivers in fedora fedora has detected or automatically over here so um this is the current logged in user which is our channel name and we can directly go to the system settings from here we can lock the system and we can perform the shutdown operation okay so uh, one thing i love, love about fedora is that whenever we you know uh, let's see what's the basic application let's uh, for example there is no there is no chat oh oh ok 
okay that's really good because uh, the one thing which i loved about fedora was that there was a default chat application and whenever a mess someone messages us um uh, the message will pop up on the bottom center section of the screen and we could just reply it there itself uh, in the previous fedora version they used to have a dedicated chat application so i'm not sure why it's not there right now and as you can see that <laughs> uh linux is never free from bugs okay so the one of the major things that i faced while using linux is that i have told before that i was uh transferring files using uh from pen drive to my hard disk so whenever you usb transfer happens the progress bar uh, the copying progress bar will uh, touch 100% within few seconds and it will just stay hang over there in the background the copying happens i am not sure why that much difference is there with the ui and the backend services and uh, this is one of the bug that you see over here so the all the black area is supposed to be white and it's right now black i am not sure why that is uh, i am using a gt 1030 graphics card and, and i have not installed the graphics driver um, uh, that may be the reason why it's black but i am not sure right now uh why it's black is just black some of the menus are still black so uh i can see i can show you other menu like the project properties fold section is also black yeah see all these things are supposed to be white but it's still black so that doesn't uh, stop you from using anything uh like you uh, uh you can watch videos you can do some documentation work with this os uh this is the default os i have installed only the obs studio as you can see that uh, recording is happening parallelly so let's see the default applications over here so we have the calculator calendar all the basic necessary stuff evolution which is an email client so libri office is installed by default the music player is rhythm box and there is a software center over here since i'm connected to the internet uh shoot work unless it's not working right now <laughs> i'm not sure why it's not working it might be doing something in the background fedora 29 is available no longer support yeah okay for the part let's see if it's oh, i'm able to connect to the internet all down let's take the fire the no, firefox is the default web browser over here and as you can see uh that it's a nice and elegant looking uh ui this uh, linux has and uh whenever we move the mouse over to the top left corner uh all the background processes this uh you know pops up in on the screen uh, similar to like uh similar to that of a android something like uh the button which we used to check all the background processes so let's see if we have an internet over here uh there is always uh a lan network problem in my area as you can see that i don't have any range only the two blocks are there but still is working fine ah uh, it's slow ah it's really slow most probably dead slow okay okay so oh i don't want to see any ads so let's close it up okay okay so okay so we may uh we are what we are going to do is uh we are going to install a virtual box and uh, this will be our base operating system where we are doing uh, reviews of other linux distros okay so i will i'm not going to install it uh, other distros in my machine i just install it in the virtual box and i'll do a walk through over that so that you know you don't need to waste your internet data for downloading the os and you don't need to waste your time for installing the os you just 
watch my videos and see how the OS looks like. If you like the OS, just download it and install it. You can try it out. Uh, you can create live USB and then try it out yourself. And uh, if you liked it, uh, you can just go away straight and install it in your machine. You can install it as a dual boot or install it as a standalone standalone OS. It's your wish. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, we need VirtualBox. So let's search for VirtualBox. Virtual Box. Here it comes. So Oracle VirtualBox. Okay, let's download uh, the virtual box. Linux resource also over here. Oh god, my baby is awake. <laughs> At any point of time, I may need to uh, stop this recording and uh, resume it in some other time. So, uh, let us save this file. Okay. Yeah, you can clearly see the internet speed. See the speed? It's really terrible. Four minutes left. Okay, so let it download parallelly. I just had a, you know, glass of water. Okay. So let it download. And then we can move on to what else? Let it download parallelly. Ah, okay. Uh, we can see the system resources. Okay, how how uh, it's using the system resources? Okay, so here it comes. It has a beautiful gra graph. Okay, so let's see. I'm recording it parallelly. I'm using a web browser. Let's see how it goes. Oh, see the graph. Some of the use. CPUs are way above fifty percent, sixty percent, fifty-six percent. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Graphs are really beautiful, by the way. And these are the background uh, processes that. Um, is running over here okay so this, this is kind of a task manager of Linux okay for those of you new newbies so let it pass and let's see how our let's minimize. oh my god Slippery hand. So oh, I'm using a uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard come mouse combo. Oh, it's not a keyboard come mouse combo. It's a touchpad. Come keyboard. Okay. So it's oh, oh, it's speeding up. It's speed up. Go up. Go up. Okay. So let's move on to the file explorer. Okay. The, the um, this Fedora is not like you know mm, the other Linux distros. The they have included me some of the security measures in the sense like uh, in Ubuntu we'll be uh, once we open up the file manager we can see the other partitions of our system. But in order to in Fedora we always have to enter password to mount any of the other partitions in the system. So example if we double click on over here it will like ask for password all the time so that, that that's really annoying uh, but it's kind of an added security and make sure that um, you know nothing is uh, get mixed up so each and every time we when we want to you know access any of the other systems we have to enter the password and uh, there, there is uh, one other problem uh, if you are installing uh, Linux, for example, I have partitioned my hard disk like I have put 20 GB or 30 GB for Linux and 
uh, when I'm in Windows I can't access any of the folders that I have saved in my home location okay so uh, there is one drawback because uh, it's not uh, we can't uh, we can install in Linux in such a way that uh, both of the, uh, bo our home folder is stored in a separate partition uh, Windows support a partition and then at that point um, it will be accessible from Windows but I have not tried that out there is a chance that we can could configure our home folder only on a separate NTFS or FAT32 partition okay so FAT32 so I have not tried that out I would like to try that out and see how it works so that I can access the files Linux files no I am I can access my work that is saved in my home folder on a Windows OS okay. let's take this up and see if it's getting downloaded it's full Oh, it's still lagging. Okay, let it do so. No worries at all. Okay, so in the meantime, let's try and go and check out other other stuffs. Okay, so the terminal image viewer, document viewer, disk. Okay, let's see how the disk usage looks like. So we have 53 GB in total, 43 GB available. Okay, so the, these two partitions are unmounted. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have? The calculator, the calendar. Let's take the calculator. Basic mode, advanced mode, programming mode. Advanced mode. Yeah, this it looks like a scientific calculator. Okay. Wow, our download is all done. <laughs> oh, still it's lagging. Okay. Why I am doing this is that I am doing this for just for newbies uh, to see how. Uh, most of the newbies are thinking that Linux is really tough. You can't uh, use Linux without knowing any commands. So I am just wanted to show them that we don't need to know any sorts of commands in using Linux. And uh, all the commands that we need will be available in some random site. How the internet, and we can just literally copy paste it. Okay, so that's how I used to do. Okay, so we will create a virtual machine and see how it works. Ah, there is one other call called uh, one other application called Box Boxes. I am not sure what these are. Can we create a virtual machine using Boxes? State of that virtualization. The first one. Oh, insert. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this is kind of a mm -hmm. this is kind of a virtual machine. Okay, so hold on. I might have some. Okay, let us install this. Okay, let's let's uh, for this time uh, at this point, uh, let us finish installing a virtual uh, box and um, and in the next video, I will try to do a review of 
uh, some other OS like Ubuntu or s something else. I will try to configure it in um, let's say this boxes and also in virtual box and see how it works. So let's create uh, a machine, virtual machine. Okay, I'm creating a new machine name. Okay, let's give it a name. Linux. Linux distros. Okay. Recommended memory in size. Okay. it as 3 GB and let's give it as 4 GB and see how it works uh, how the recording and everything goes ok let's give it as 2 GB that will be better uh, because I am not sure how my system will hold so let's give it as build your hard disk now. The recommended size of hard disk is 32 GB. If you wish add a virtual hard disk to the new machine, you can either create a new hard disk file or select one from the list or from another location using the folder icon. Create a virtual hard disk now. The recommended size of hard disk is 32 GB. Oops. Virtual hard disk image. See. A fixed size hard disk well, may take longer to create. Dynamically allocated hard disk will only use space on your physical hard disk. Thirty-two GB. Okay, recommended. Let's say thirty GB is not required. Twenty GB will give it as twenty. Ah, wow. Normal start. Need to sign in the Sorry, sorry. Twenty seven MB. Why it's twenty seven MB? The next distro. Okay, I might learn <laughs> need to learn uh, how it works. Okay, how to configure an OS in this virtual box and see uh, how all things works. So, um, I, I might need to do some googling or something. Okay, so at that point of time, give me some time to learn and I will come back uh, with an OS with another another OS review. Okay, so. Uh, this is uh, 80 skit signing off if you like the video hit the thumbs up if you don't like the video dislike as well uh, give comments to my video uh, or if you have any OS in mind please uh, provide it as, the, as a comment so that I can download it and um, make a review for you and uh, share my channel has uh, if you like like my channel just share it with your friends and uh, I would like to have like minded minds in my channel okay so you get my point okay this is the 80s kid signing off catch you with another video 
or might be on a gaming or software I, I, even I am not sure <laughs> okay so this is it is it signing off from now see you later bye